Good evening all, how are we doing? Just uh, going out for an evening stroll. Pretty quick one, because my tea's in the oven. So today's uh, the Holmes House circuit, which will take us down Holmes House Avenue uh, from Ravenswood Avenue. And when we get back to our uh, start point, when we do the loop, I'll show you where Holmes House Farm used to be. Which I've mentioned a few times already on the group, but... Just say hello to a few people who got uh, got quite a few new members today actually, around about 300, 400. Had a bit of a surge. Uh, with the the dino trail that went out this morning proved to be very popular which I'm really pleased about I did find it uh, a rather weird experience though uh, walking into the woods at half past six this morning with a load of bones And if you are new to this page, you've got to excuse my uh, sense of humour, because it's awful. But essentially, um, by, by all accounts, there's been uh, quite a lot of visitors down at the woods today, which is great, following the trail. And we've had some uh, really nice responses. On top of that, we've had uh, a lot of feedback from some of the other walks that we've done over the past couple of weeks. So that's good too. Shout out to Becky, who's watching. I think she's been on the walk today with, with the kids. Uh, Juliet's watching, how you doing? How's Max? Did you enjoy his tea? Uh, Katie Dandridge is watching. How are you doing, Katie? Craig Speakman. Well, I never. How are you doing, pal? Good to see you. Hello. How are you doing? You all right? You, yeah, you're on, you're on. Of course you're on. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good man, good. good. What are you doing? Walking. Walking. <laughs> It is a bit weird walking around with this uh, electronic selfie stick. People do look at you weird. I don't care, I look weird anyway. There you go. couple of more shout outs uh, hello Alison how are you Christine's watching mother-in-law I saw uh, Luna's new haircut today looks very nice uh, Karen's watching how are you doing Karen Now, if you are new to this page, this group, because we've had quite an influx of new members, every day we do a live stream walk. The group was set up so people can benefit from a, an outside experience from the safety of their own home if they can't get out at the, at the moment. We've had quite a lot of watches on Facebook Live and our YouTube channel. All the walks can be found on the new website, which is winstanleywalks.co.uk. So if you want to have a look at any of our previous walks, we've done 20, this is 26, so there's 25 walks on there, all routed out for you on a map and the video. And 
every single uh, route that we take is completely different and we've found some really interesting places, some new places that I've never been to some places that a lot of other people haven't been to so that's good Evening Big dogs So we're just on our way up to uh, St Aidan's now and then go past uh, post the shops, shops, shops. Ashton has sent me a little cartoon of herself saying hi. Oh, that's nice. Jane Finney says, don't you get on with your wife? Out all the time. Absolutely, we've spent all day together. I was in the woods this morning at half past six putting dinosaur bones in. So when she woke up, uh, she had a lovely cup of tea made for her. And we have breakfast and then lunch together. So yeah, we get on really well. But she understands that uh, a little bit of a walk is good. And sometimes she comes with me, believe it or not. Uh, Joanne, how are you doing? Sorry we're late today for a walk. Pat's watching, how are we doing, Pat? Karen says, good thanks, chicken. I'm having chicken for my tea. Piri piri. Phil Burke, good to bump into you earlier on, pal. Good evening, Steve, and hello, Rachel. Hi, Janet. Ian Cash, how you doing? Don't tell them everything. Tell you this though, I had a I had a really good feed last night over at Hamraz on the on the precinct. They do a really good. Um, I mean, it's not the healthiest option, but I suppose I'm walking it off. They do uh, a Hamraz kebab with uh, four different types of meat: chicken, lamb, sheesh, and donna, all wrapped up in a big naan bread. Yum yum. It's only seven quid, but it feeds too. Unless you're greedy and you have the whole thing to yourself, like me. Oh, you meant with Vic? Well, I've got to be honest. I've got to be honest, Karen. So, uh, just past the shops and about to pass the poacher now. As I said, it's going to be a quick walk. The temperature's starting to drop now and it's going a bit cold. Apparently the weather's going to get really nice next week. 24 degrees on Wednesday, so they say. Sean Cosgrove. Thanks, this is Ace. I went to St Aidan's and spent my youth in those shops. And the poacher, Belton. Colette, 
how you doing Colette? Thanks for tuning in. Good evening Matt. Uh, if any of you guys have uh, not already been but there's uh, a nice little wood that you can cut through there called Barton's Wood. Some, some people call it the Poacher Woods. If anybody's watching who, uh, who has been on the Dino Trail today um, and you've not posted your pictures, feel free if you do if you have taken any, post them to the page and we'll put them up. Um, and a few hours in to uh, releasing the map to the Dino Trail today, uh, somebody suggested why don't you do this to raise some money for the NHS? And I thought, well, it won't hurt anybody to uh, put that on. So uh, we've uh, we've raised a few quid so far. But if anybody wants to uh, dip into the pocket, pocket, so to speak, and put a few quid in, that'll be brilliant. And the link is uh, is on the original post from this morning, so you can click on that and uh, just throw a couple of quid into the pot for the NHS. That'll be belting. If everybody put a pound in, we'd have we'd have over a thousand pound. Just uh, on our way down towards Melrose now, and where that big tree is in the middle, just past it, there was uh, an old Tudor building before these houses were built called Rainford House, which was a farm, uh, and that stood proud on the top of the hill on the rise there. We're going to go down Melrose now. You can see St Matthew's Church in the distance, poking over the trees. Oh, I tell you what, the uh, one of the wardens of the church got in touch the other day, and he's invited me to uh, to climb the inside of the uh, spire. That's St Matthew, so that'll be an interesting video if we can do that live. That'll be pretty cool. So this little path uh, to the right is Hornsey Grove, and to the left is Belgrave, close down that path. Yeah, I don't, uh, don't know many people who've climbed the inside of St Matthew's Spire, uh, but apparently... I'll be doing it very soon, so we'll have to see what happens with that. Uh, Becky says, Gracie and Alfie are watching. Um, they say hello, shout out to Gracie and Alfie. Good to see you. And apparently they enjoyed the dino trail today, which is great. Thanks very much. Well, thanks for the feedback. Good to know. This is a, a nice little route in the morning if you want to get a nice little power walk in. It's all flat, um, as you can see. And uh, you can get your tempo up quite easily. It's a good little uh, exercise to do. It's not, 
not the most scenic of walks, but it's a good one to stretch the legs. Elaine Monk says, let me get my bearings. Melrose, that's right, we're on Melrose. And we're going to do a left down Ravenswood. And Ravenswood is uh, a horseshoe. It, uh, it kind of goes round all the houses and ends up coming out just, uh, just past that white van up there at the top. So uh, Elaine, we started the walk um, on Melrose on the opposite side. Um, and that's where we're going to finish. And it's the Holmes House Loop. Not necessarily because we've been on Holmes House Avenue, but because we started and finished at the um, at the old location of Holmes House Farm, which you're very familiar with, I believe. All right, James. I was looking for a shout out outside your front door just then, buddy. Need to discuss that uh, tomato throwing thing with you. <laughs> Be surprised how many people have messaged me about that. They're all willing to pay that pound for a potato, apparently. If you don't know what we're talking about, you'll find out soon. <laughs> Evening, Nicky. Elaine Monk says it's the only farm with a duck pond. There you go. So I've managed to track exactly where that duck pond was, um, as well as the house, <clears throat> and where that old photograph was taken with. Uh, very surprising, Uncle, Uncle Tom in the picture. Still can't get over that. So going past uh, Northwold Close, you can get into uh, Bundles Woods down there. There's a bit of a steep drop on the opposite side, but you can get down it relatively easy. Huh, where's Wally? <laughs> Pass. Don't be like Wally, stay safe, it says. I don't know if you can still hear that, but there's a lot of uh, evening bird song in the trees behind us, behind the houses. It's very still. It was a bit breezy earlier on, it got a little bit colder, but. Ian says, just, uh, just seeing you go past, should have banged on the window. You should have done, man. You should have sh got out your door and give us a yell. Most people just shout at me, keep walking, Chris. Hence the uh, Forrest Gump memes that I keep on getting sent, which is quite funny. In a few months' time, I'll have the long hair and the long beard. I just kept on walking. Sorry, terrible sense of humour. So there's the... Uh, entrance to Blundell's Wood and the steps taking you down to Foundry Lane, down that way. And finish off the power walk with a, a gentle incline up to the top to Holmes House Farm.
There's a little bit of activity up here, some lads who don't look like they're social distancing. Might be uh, getting themselves up to mischief. Good evening, Dot. How are you doing? Good to see you. So Holmes House Farm was at the end of this row in between Hillgate Close and uh, Overhill on the left. So Holmes House Farm is, was basically on the corner of Overhill Way there and went across left and down. And the pond was across the road just behind this house and probably took up some of the garden space in this house as well. So there you go. So that's Holmes House Farm, that's where it was. Uh, that's Overhill Way, we're still on Melrose, um, but for another walk, pretty quick one. Thanks again for all your comments, likes and shares, and once again if you've been on the Downhill Trail and you want to give us a little bit of a contribution for the NHS fundraiser, just go and find that, uh, that link and we will uh, gladly accept a couple of quid off you. Uh, thanks again, we will see you again tomorrow for another walk. Alright, bye for now.